Michelle Abraham has everything you need to know, from local eats and celebrity interviews to trending topics and more, right now on Good Day Stateline. Hi and welcome to Good Day Stateline. It's Monday, October 14th. We're kicking things off tonight with an extra special Insta Chat brought to you by Beloit Health System with the host and judges of Magnolia Network's new series, Roller Jam. We have Jordan Sparks, Johnny Weir, and Terrell Ferguson. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. We are so excited uh, to be talking to you guys about this brand new show, Roller Jam. Jordan, you are hosting. Tell us about what it's like to take on this experience. Yes, girl, it's nice <laughs> being on the other side of the judging table. <laughs> I will tell you that. <laughs> so it's been really fun to be able to kind of bring my experience in a competition style show um, to this uh, lovely job. I don't even want to call it a job because it was so much fun. But being able to talk to the contestants, be like, look, I've been there before. I've been in your shoes where you're you're nervous and you don't quite know what's going to happen next. But it really is a fun show. I was I learned a lot. I was impressed. I was I couldn't believe all the things that I. I was seeing so I think people are gonna love watching this and be pleasantly surprised at how they fall in love with these crews and these skaters. You know, it's kind of like a blend of all these things we already know and love that we watch on TV from reality shows to, you know, like the Olympics. Johnny, how does your figure skating experience prep you to be a roller dancing judge? Well, this is the biggest thing ever in the world of roller skating and I've competed at the biggest sporting event in the world at the Olympics and performed in front of sold out arenas all over the world. So I know a thing or two about performance. So as a judge, I was definitely looking for our crews to go big or go home. $150,000 on the line, 10,000 uh, donated to their local rink. And it was just such an important moment that I was so honored to be there with because we got to witness remarkable talent, but sometimes taking talent out of your local rink and giving it to the world can be a really scary and hard thing. So as a judge, I was definitely the sweet one, I would say. And then <laughs> Sassy Pants over there was the technical stickler for sure. It's technical, but think about it like this. These kids are phenomenal athletes. And every great athlete from Jordan to Magic to Kobe to LeBron needs a great coach. So I was the <laughs> Phil Jackson of judges. I wasn't mean, I was just giving direction. Because if they wanted that 150 grand, they needed some direction. But he sees everything. I was gonna say, plus Terrell, I mean, this is the least newest to you as a, you know, roller skater for your whole life. You're a skating legend, so like, it makes sense. You gotta like be a little judgy, right? You gotta tell them what they're doing right and wrong because everyone else, us watching, we're just gonna love it. <laughs> exactly, and and sometimes the layperson doesn't see what you know what an actual skater sees. Just like football, they have ex football players, you know, you analyze the football. Wear their shoes. I literally <laughs> wear their shoes. I can't fill them though because they were doing some amazing things. But I think coming from all of our all of our backgrounds, whether it's singing, roller, or figure skating, you don't get better without critique. You don't get better without learning. Exactly. You don't you don't grow without all that. So we definitely had a Jordan lot of love to give. Because yeah. I got the worst of it. What do you, you mean? As far as like being judged, you got like you had the toughest. Oh yeah, Simon was. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. <laughs> I, I'm definitely nicer than him. I yes. would throw some of our Russian judges up against Simon Cowell. Uh, yes, fair, actually, fair, yeah, exactly. to be fair. <laughs> This, of course, is the perfect month for this all to be taking place, all kicking off. October is National Roller Skating Month. So what else do you want people watching to think about as opposed, you know, they're watching with their family, they're loving it, and then how can they get out and about and celebrate? I think there's so many different ways that you can celebrate National Roller Skating Month. You can watch some really specialized skaters on TikTok. You can rewatch Usher at the Super Bowl. You can watch some really amazing movies, Roller Boogie or Roll Bounce. Um, and then you can also go to support your local rinks. Yes. Rinks are disappearing all over America. And part of the greatness of Max and Magnolia's prize is they donate to the winner's local rink. Yeah. And that's going to lead to a next generation of skaters, which they might be champions later on in our show. Like, that little Johnny in his basement okay. that was trying, you know, there are kids that are gonna watch this show and go, hey, I can go to my local rink because they just fixed it up and maybe I can win one day. And yes. definitely after watching our show, you're gonna have quite the education. Of course, we're streaming on Max and starting, uh, well, now we're on Magnolia. And uh, every Thursday you get a new episode, learn a lot from us and think about ditching a day at the gym for a day <laughs> at the rink as a delicately aged figure skater. I still go in every week and it, it makes 
makes me just feel inspired and great, and I wish everybody the the happiness of Glide that I feel every yes. week. Yes, bend your knees, put yes. your helmet on, and wear your pads, okay? No flip, be safe. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's awesome. Well, thank you all so much for joining us today. We can't wait to continue watching the season. Thank you, Thank Michelle. You. you can find Roller Jam on Max with new episodes premiering every Thursday, just like Johnny said. And you can catch some of last week's episode right now inside the GDS Instagram story. We'll be right back with decor tips from Julie Jones after your good day moments. Brought to you by Fresh Prince of Love Spark, the print shop with a heart.